everybody, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. It's been a hot minute since I sat down and did like a true sit down talking video. This is like kind of crazy. I, I like it. I like it. Feels good to be back in the apartment getting back in the swing of things and a lot of you guys have been asking for more sit down videos where I talk about fashion, beauty, lifestyle, not just vlogs. Even though I do love doing vlogs, I do like fashion. It's a big part of my life. So I've been wanting to do this video for a while and I think it's just about time. I'm going to be talking about how to dress well on a budget. I am so excited you guys because this video is sponsored by the real real what because I'm all about like a nice chic style but sometimes it's hard like with certain price points to dress and have that like chic celebrity like model off-duty look while being on a budget the real real is a luxury consignment website and app which is awesome the real real sells brands such as Chanel Louis Vuitton Balenciaga for up to 90% off of the retail price and the real real team's experts authenticate and make sure everything is legit because I know I've bought things on other websites before that I think is real and then I get it and it's not but the real real they make sure that it's the real real if you want use the link in the description down below to get $25 off your first order I actually just got back from LA and they have stores in LA and New York City it's really cool you walk in and it's like this really you feel like you're in a luxury you know handbag store but it's technically luxury consignment but they just create such a great experience I went to the one in LA and then when I was in New York a couple months ago I went to that one so I'm a big fan I gotta say so without further ado let's get started with the tips my first tip to dressing well on a budget, this is like my biggest life hack of all times, is buying less expensive clothing. Like personally for me, I'm not into buying like the Balenciaga sweaters and like all of that. Like for me, like I would just rather spend less money on clothing because for me, I'm always like changing ideas on what I wanna wear. There's trends, there's fads, there's so many different things that are going in and out at all times and I just don't wanna spend $800 on a blouse personally. So for me, I buy less expensive clothing and dress them up with more expensive like accessory items. That's just what I've done for years. It's just how I roll. So then as a whole, it makes your outfit look super cute and chic and a little bit more expensive, I guess. Like you don't have to do this, but this is just a tip I have. So you might be thinking, oh my gosh, like I don't have enough money to just walk into Balenciaga and get a new bag. Like I feel you, that's okay. But you should totally check out the Real Real once again because they do have a ton of different options. I have been wanting the Louis Vuitton duffel for so long. Long. I think it's so cute, but I just could not justify actually buying one and like walking into the store and spending that much money But guys, I found the Louis Vuitton monogram keep all 55 on their website and this wasn't even the only one They had a ton of options like it's just basically they give you the condition they they tell you all about it This one literally looks amazing like right Callie like this looks oh, so nice. Like, I'm so I am <laughs> so excited. Like, I have wanted one of these forever just for like weekend trips and stuff like that. If you have been wanting to splurge on an item for a really long time and there's something you have your eye on, totally go and check out the real world to see if they have an item um, for cheaper because I got this super discounted. So that's really exciting. I'm so up, uh, guys. So, my second tip is basic clothing items. I am all about basic clothing items right now. I'm getting kind of concerned. I like, I'm starting to have more and more just plain looking clothing and less trendy items which is just I don't know that's just like kind of the vibe I'm on right now so I really suggest buying some you can you can spend more money on them but this is all about budgeting so I suggest going on more inexpensive stores and getting like a good black bodysuit I think those are great like I have had the same black bodysuit I spent like $28 on it and I wear it with jeans I tuck it into skirts I dress it up with booties there are so many different things you can do and I like love the black bodysuits that are just kind of like straight neck with like the straps they just look so good very like Kardashian vibes I feel like um, and these are just tips I have this is just like I don't know like life hacks I'm just trying to help y'all out but um, so black bodysuits jeans denim denim is just classic it's timeless it'll never go out of style at least I don't see that going out of style anytime soon so you know you don't even have to spend a lot of money on jeans either like I feel like denim is just denim like yes there are some nicer denim brands and like whatever but that's for the brand name but see we're not we're not doing that we're just dressing we're simple and we're dressing it up with nicer accessories I also am really into white sneakers right now and a lot of brands right now are releasing like really inexpensive white sneakers like I know Delaney has a pair that she got 
um, for like 20 bucks and they're just these really cool like chunky dad sneakers like I love them I've been finding them all over the place like every boutique I walk into have some sort of form of dad sneaker but you don't have to spend a ton of money on one like you can just get them or you can go on the real real I've been having my eye on the Balenciaga triple S sneakers and I'm waiting for one to come out on my in my size on the real real so keep an eye out for me guys so yeah basically just getting some basics whether it be like a good white t-shirt that really looks cute tucked into denim jeans with a fun belt and some white sneakers that is a really classic look but I feel like it makes you look like you dress really well but it's like such inexpensive items and it's so easy to pair going off of that my third tip is maybe try out a capsule wardrobe I don't think I'd ever do this just because this is my job and I'm always like trying out new clothes from companies and stuff but I do love the idea of a capsule wardrobe basically think of it as you're going on a trip you only have the clothing that you have in your suitcase it's amazing it's perfect you literally just have let's say 20 items so you brought four pairs of pants four shirts and they all can go together because that's what I do when I travel I'm like okay how many items can go together so that I can make new outfits out of it so that's basically what a capsule collection is if you go on Pinterest you can look up like capsule collection ideas and it will show you like you need a striped shirt a white shirt a denim shirt and a sweater and then like what pairs of pants you need and they all can go together so that's a good way of saving money because you're not spending a ton of money on so many different outfits you just buy a few things that can match with each other perfectly and create different outfits. My fourth tip is to watch what colors you're buying because that kind of goes with the whole trend thing of it all is if you're trying not to spend too much money on clothing I wouldn't go and buy a ton of neon things or whatever like I'm really into neon I think it's like a big trend right now but if you're trying to save money I would definitely just focus on more neutrals like colors I'm loving right now and I think are timeless white cream black like a light heather gray military green i really really love that color like an olive green kind of and wearing those with like black or gold accessories looks so good and so timeless and so you don't have to worry about them going out of style and not wasting money my next tip is just one of my go-to outfits and i just thought it'd be cool to share anything all black like whenever I'm in doubt and I want to look like I'm dressing well but I'm honestly kind of lazy and I don't want to go out and buy a new outfit I just go into my closet and I pick out all the black things and I'm like what can I do with this I mean I don't really need to ask myself that because everything goes with everything when it's all the same color well sometimes there's different shades of black actually so then you have to be careful but I'll usually go for a black bodysuit like I said I have and one of my other basics I always make sure to have are like black high-waisted jeans so boom put those two together you can pop over a black leather jacket if it's cold outside or you don't even have to add a belt black booties boom done you look amazing sweetie yes queen work my next two tips are kind of to do with um, outfits you can kind of finesse shall I say that make you look kind of more well-dressed and cool I don't really know when it comes to traveling and when it comes to going to class I enjoy kind of dressing up for class but a lot of people here at UGA are just kind of more into athleisure vibes which I'm really into athleisure right now so it kind of works out well sometimes I want to just add a little flair like a little touch of Danny but I don't want to be like super extra going to class so one of my favorite go-to outfits lately has been just wearing let's say like leggings or joggers a white or something flowy top add a cardigan or like a really cool hoodie or something and have statement sneakers statement sneakers that's a vibe or if you want to do like black distressed denim uh, jeans with like a white top that I told you about earlier like if you just have like a cool graphic tee or just like that white top that I told you to get earlier with cool sneakers that's just like such a vibe I feel so on the real road you I've had my eye on golden goose sneakers for probably the last like year or so and they're honestly really expensive and I just like didn't know Callie has a pair she's wearing them right now but I was just like dude like $500 for a pair of sneakers I just don't think I can do it but they're super super cute they're all like really cool unique sneakers most of them have stars on it or do they all have stars on it they all have stars on it okay it's like their brand and their store is so cool I was there in LA this weekend and like there's like this big star out front it's really really cool but I just I, I just I love to spend money but I just I, I just couldn't so I went on the real real and they have a ton of golden goose sneakers so I found this pair for literally $200 off so I got them for 300 which I think is a great deal when it comes to like they, they definitely are pre-worn, but these sneakers are meant to look pre-worn. Yeah. So I don't even know, you they know. They come like that. They come like this, basically. So I don't know how many times these shoes were worn. There's, like, a little bit on the bottom, but, like, 
they look great. So these are silver, they have a gold star, and guys, they're actually super comfortable, but I would have never known that because I probably would have never bought them. So I'm really, really excited about these. They're awesome. They're made in Italy, so they're super nice, and I got them on the Real Real, and yeah, so Real Real just makes dreams come true. And my last tip, I guess, is for airport outfits. A lot of people have been asking me, like, oh, like, you should do, like, a whole airport lookbook because I'm really into dressing up for the airport. The last few times I've been to the airport, it's just kind of been subpar. I really do like to dress up to the airport, though. It just makes me feel good, and we love a good airport pick. It's really, really fun. Something easy that you can do is literally still just wear, like, black leggings and maybe some golden goose sneakers or just some cool sneakers that I told you about earlier that you can find at boutiques for literally $25. Add, like, a cropped hoodie or, like, a cool funky sweater and then I'm probably gonna add as an access as an accessory I'm gonna bring it on the plane with me but this Louis Vuitton duffel because it goes with so many different things it makes you instantly look look super chic and it fits a ton of stuff so I can have this as a good carry-on for quick weekend trips that's just how I'm justifying it personally but I think airport outfits are really really fun so yeah, those are all the tips I have for you guys. Again, I don't mean for this video to feel superficial at all. It's just that's literally what this video is all about. Just how to dress well when you're on a budget. I understand that still the items on the real world are going to be expensive. If you have had your eye on something that's a little bit more like luxurious, then you can use, well one, you can use the link down below to get $25 off. That does something. But then also they have everything marked down and you can filter it out. You can say your price range and they will help you. So. I just wanted to let you guys know about that amazing website. I've been shopping on them for a couple of years now because I heard about them a while ago. But yeah, I was really excited when they wanted to sponsor my channel because I feel like it's very on brand. So I love you guys so much. Thanks so much for watching. Check them out down below and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye-bye.